The Chevy Dealers Sports Desk. Here's Jack Bernie. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. The Terre Haute Rex back in action tonight at Bob Warren Field, looking to get back in the win column against the Danville Dans. To take you out to the highlights, there's new Rex interim manager Cully DeGroat meeting with the team. More on that in a minute. The Rex trailing 2 0 in the second in this ball game, but that changes as Xavier Croxton crushes one deep to right field. It's gone for a game tying two run homer. Rex and Dans all tied at two, heading to the third inning. Danville gets three in the top of the third inning, but Terre Haute responds in the home half of the third. Slater Shield steps up to the dish. He lines a base hit into left field. One run scores. The Rex come all the way back. They tie the ball game again at 5-5, five to five, heading to the fourth inning. Top four, the Dans get the lead right back as Trey Higgins lines one deep to right field. It clears the wall for a go-ahead two-run homer to put Danville on top once again, 7-5. to five. The Rex would come back, though, and tie the game for a third time in the bottom of the fourth. West Vigo alum and Sycamore freshman Carter Murphy grounds one right back up the middle for an RBI single to tie it up once again at seven runs. A piece. This was a back and forth game until the fifth inning. The Dan score 14 unanswered runs to take control as Danville hands the Rex their third straight loss, 21 to 7. The final score. Rex back in action on the road at Chillicothe on Thursday. And before tonight's game, the Terra Rex announcing that they mutually parted ways with first year manager Harry Markite and that Cully DeGroat will be the interim head coach and manager for the remainder of the 2023 season. DeGroat is, of course, the head baseball coach of the West Vigo Vikings and has over 23 years of baseball coaching coaching experience under his belt. Rex owner and general manager Bruce Rosselli said in a statement, quote, I have great confidence in Coach DeGroat and Coach Jacob Harden steering the ship as we push for a good run to round out the 2023 season. Some high school baseball coaching news to pass along to you tonight as well as the Vincennes Lincoln Alices have their new head baseball coach for next season. The school announcing via Twitter that Daniel Ashby will lead the Alice's baseball program starting in the 2024 season. Ashby played for the Alice's from 2008 to 2011 and now will be the head baseball coach at his alma mater. Sticking in baseball, Terre Haute's Tim Heron continued his impressive rookie campaign for the Cleveland Guardians in Pittsburgh last night. The former Terre Haute South Brave pitched a scoreless ninth inning in the Guardians 10 to 1 win over the Pirates. Heron has not allowed a run in his last three appearances out of the bullpen for just the second time this season. In his last seven outings, Timmy has a 3.72 earner on average with 11 strikeouts across 10 innings of work. He continues to impress for Cleveland in his rookie season as the Guardians continue to chase a second straight division title. Sticking in the MLB, the St. Louis Cardinals looking to run their season-long win streak to five games in a row this afternoon, hosting the Miami Marlins at Busch Stadium. Redbirds strike early in this one as last night's walk-off hero, Nolan Arenado, grounds one into right field for a base hit. They're going to wave Paul Goldschmidt around from second. Goldie slides in safely ahead of the tag to give the Cardinals a 1-0 lead in the first inning. The very next batter is Nolan Gorman. He crushes one high and deep to straightaway center field, and it is out of here for a three-run homer. The Cards jump on the reigning NL Cy Young winner Sandy Alcantara for four runs in the first inning. They lead it 4-0. Top six, St. Louis up two. Yuli Gurriel grounds one to third. Check out this play by Arenado. The fadeaway to his left throw to get the out. Arenado showing you why he's won 10 gold gloves in a row at third base in the National League. Bottom seventh, Cardinals looking for some insurance. Lars Newbar hits a slow roller to third, but Miami's third baseman makes a wild throw. One run scores. Newbar off to the races. He slides into third with the RBI Little League triple on the throwing air. The Cardinals make it five wins in a row. They beat Miami 6-4 to four this afternoon at Busch Stadium. And finally to golf, the fourth and final major of the year. The Open Championship will tee off tomorrow at Royal Liverpool Golf Club. Vincennes native and South Knox alum Adam Shank will be playing in his first Open Championship this week looking to continue his impressive season. Shank will Players tee off at 3.21 p.m. local time in England or 10.21 a.m. Eastern time here in Indiana playing in the same group as six-time major champ Phil Mickelson and Nick Taylor. Shank last time on the course was at the John Deere Classic in which he earned his third top five finish of the year and fifth top ten finish of the year finishing in fourth place. Adam has finished in the top ten in three out of the last five tournaments he has played in but is still looking for that first career win on the PGA Tour. The former South Knox Spartan will have the chance for his first win and first major this weekend across the pond. We will have updates on his performance throughout the week right here on WTWO. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be right back after the break.